for this work, um, it's actually an accumulation of all the work that has been done since 2010 on Bantayan Island uh, in the center of the Philippines where, where I'm from or my father's from and where I partly grew up. The, the men you see in the, the video are um, my neighbors and my friends and um, we started working together in 2010 because I started following men working at sea. So I filmed um, international seafarers from Bantayan Island, and then I started filming uh, local fishermen um, from our area. And um, that has to do with you know, my own family background, my father being a seafarer and my brothers. And I've been having uh, this obsession with our relationship to the sea for a very long time. It was necessary to open it, the dialogue up in my own community about, um, you know, how our culture is disappearing because of ch uh, radical changes happening uh, that are economic but also environmental. Uh, because of the damage we have to our sea, um, fishermen are advising their children not to be fishermen anymore but to become international seafarers. And I was interested to see how this was changing our community. So I really wanted to use a video especially as a tool to get everyone together through the conversation and dialogue, kind of you know, unify everybody and, and, and deal with very heavy issues that are very difficult to talk about. Looking at the fishermen and their families, um, the issues were really the sea as a source of income and how they, they, they didn't have enough fish anymore even to feed their own families. Um, and that was really the main concern. And the second concern is that because they are so desperate, they, most of them are compressor divers, and so they breathe through hoses and dive up to 40 meters deep, and it's very dangerous. So in our area alone, um, a lot of guys actually get the bends or even die from this. Starting to use the video camera as a very powerful tool to, sh to, to create a voice to find steps in creating change or, or finding ways to, to solve all these problems. The actual image now that at, uh, uh, at ABT is, um, and I'm so proud because it's something that I did together with my community. So we want to come up with one work that kind of summarizes and, and says everything that we want to say in one piece. Once a year, there's this festival, the Atiatihan Festival, and it's a procession and a fiesta once every January. And um, I started filming the procession uh, because uh, the fishermen kind of become, uh, create their own characters once a year, and it's a kind of an outlet for them. And, uh, I started filming it because when we were doing the, the other projects and talking about such heavy issues and watching videos, uh, we put the footage of this procession in as kind of entertainment to laugh at ourselves. Uh, but uh, after several years of documenting it and talking to the guys about it, why they create these costumes, it got, um, we realized that it would be really interesting to or I talk to them about, you know, how, what if we combine, combine what they do every year, but put it in another setting so that all the things that we've been talking about and all the things that we are trying to find solutions on can be put in one work and be shown and so that hopefully we can kind of have an impact. The guys that you see are the original guys that actually do this every year, but some of them had to ask their friends uh, who are compressor divers to do it for them underwater because it was quite dangerous to, uh, you, I mean, you have to be fit and you have to know how to breathe through the tubes to be able to do this underwater. Um, so we did the uh, procession underwater and some of the costumes, uh, for example, you see Yolanda Survivor. So Yolanda is the Philippine name for uh, Super Typhoon Haiyan. Um, so this happened in the typhoon was 2013 and 2014 they created that costume of, you know, we survived the, the typhoon. And um, uh, another costume would be Mani Pacquiao, who's everyone's kind of hero. Um, uh, we have, um, of course, the drug war. 
um, which was last year, the procession was, uh, the guys mainly dealt with the, the drug war, and it's not something that we really talk about. Of course, the issue of climate change, that's not something that we can change or find solutions on. And that's why also we wanted to make this work because it's, some, it's, it's something that we need to reach out beyond our island and we need to talk to other people about and also our leaders.